Well, Mr. Millennial, for the last month, people have been wondering what's in the mystery crate. Well, it tells them right there. Yeah. You ready to uh, dig it out and see what we got? Let's do it. So Mr. Millennial, supposedly, somewhere in this fancy pallet, we have what I believe is a 72 inch Bomalite brush cutter for a standard flow 90-2 about a skid steer, which is convenient because we got one of those. Yeah. So let's get this, I'm excited about this. Let's get this thing unpackaged and uh, we're gonna go try her out today. Man, first impressions, this sure looks good, don't it? It's big. It is big. I think they make one size bigger, but it's for a high flow machine. Lock her in there so we don't lose her. All right, guys, so what we got here is the Bomalite CF572. 72. 72 basically stands for 72 inch cut. For you guys that are not familiar with this company, they are actually based out of Canada. I was first introduced to them whenever I went up to uh, Tractor Time with Tim's. And uh, if you guys remember in that video, we had a little 855 John Deere, my little 855 John Deere tractor. He actually had a three point hitch stump grinder on the back of it that was made by Bomalite. And I'll have to admit, I was pretty impressed with it that day. And uh, whenever I went to look for a brush cutter, uh, it's one of the ones that popped up. And, you know, first impressions on this thing, kind of viewing it on the internet and actually seeing it in person are really good. I just basically like the overall design of it. It's clean, it's strong, it's gusseted, it's braced in all the right places. Uh, the way this is built up right here, I can see we got awesome visibility from the cab. And the actual business into this thing, uh, it's built quite a bit different than some of the other ones I've seen. A four blade system. I believe their bearing mount, everything is replaceable if you damage anything. It, uh, it just kind of, it just kind of all makes, makes sense to me. So, so far, so good. But these guys, man, I tell you what, they make all kinds, all kinds of different attachments. They got a whole book here. Uh, I'll try to link some of this stuff up, but it's, it's amazing what all they got. But right, here's what we got. Here's all the specs on the, uh, CF572. We're going to take this thing out. Man, I'd love to have one of those for the 210. Wouldn't that be awesome? Sign me up. All right, one thing at a time. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's take this thing job side and see if it works.
off the trailer and on the job. Let me track around. We're actually going to go work on the back side of this barn over here. Some of you guys may recognize this farm. We've got a bunch of work here over the last two years for Farmer Chris. we got one last little area over here. It's about three quarters of an acre. They want to try to get cleaned up to uh, farm, so we got to get it mowed down and uh, we may have to take the Hyundai and pop a few trees out, so let's check it out. A pretty good vantage point here standing on top of the uh, skid steer. This little area right here, which I think equals about three quarters of an acre is what we want to try to grab. I guess when they used to farm this back here, they used to farm this, and in the last couple years it's just kind of went up. Chris's equipment is actually too big to get in there, so we're going to get this mowed down take out a few trees over there and we're also going to take out a few trees right here so he can get his spray boom between the barn and the uh barn in the woods there you don't want to have to fold up the back end there that's very inefficient for him so Matt's getting the hyundai walked over here i think we're going to try to probably mow this off first so we can kind of see what we got and then uh pop down in there and take out some trees my thoughts i'm excited guys Let's see what this girl will do. All right, first start up. I think this thing will only spin one way. Yeah, it'll only go this way. Oh, yeah. So, I got two different options. I can hold this button over like this. All right, I should be able to hit this button and it'll stay on full time. Oh, she's a zinging.
impressions are pretty good. Sucker cuts pretty good, don't Yeah, it? it's, uh, of course, I'm new to using this attachment, so it's going to take a little bit for me to get used to it. This ground is very uneven. It rolls. The biggest issue I got is I got to figure out how to kind of float over top of it and not, uh, you can kind of see the random brown spots out there. You can also see the first couple passes. I think I was trying to cut too low. Where I come down here, I was, what would you say, I was maybe an inch and a half off the ground back there? Yeah. And probably two, two and a half. I was keeping it a little flatter, kind of figuring out my angle and everything, but honestly, the skid steer even handles it better than I thought it was going to. It looked like it did. I took out one three inch tree over here and it's like it wasn't even there, so. Snap your fingers, it was gone. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, and cut quality, you know, the blades on this thing, it's a, a brush cutter, I think's the proper terminology, so they're not sharp and they're blunt. Uh, but even in this grass, they do an absolute uh, awesome job. You want to give it a try? Sure. did a pretty good job guys one thing i want to mention as you probably noticed they had to do a really good job of having shields guards chains on the back to keep the flying debris to a minimum they did a really good job of it but i would not recommend being as close as what we are uh filming just trying to get you some good shots of it actually working but we're gonna let matt finish doing that let's hop over in the hyundai the plan is we're just going to kind of go down along the edge of the field grab some of these trees kind of tuck them up along the edge just uh gain as much usable space as we can without getting too awful carried away so let's get this thing fired up and get after it all right well matt's making a lab so we're going to try to open this up a little bit i got a feeling this is where they put all the rocks they found in the fields for years and years and years it's kind of a nasty little rocky mess right here but Hopefully we get enough of these trees down, Chris, we'll at least get a sprayer through here. What, uh... Well, a little bit left of the usable ground. We may let Matt come through here with that cutter and see if he can kind of chew it up a little bit. I'm kind of curious to see how it works. Works in that scenario, but... Honestly, as much rocks what's in here, I hate to, I hate to even get that thing in here. He 
kind of see what was the edge of the old field. This is where I've kind of cleared back, trying to get a little bit more room. First pass Matt made there, looks pretty good. I think he's gonna clean it up pretty nice. He's gonna get into a bunch of rock up there. He needs to abort mission on that, but. I got limited experience with hydraulic drive, cutters or mowers. A lot of experience on the old three-point hitch PTO drive stuff. It seems like to me, you give up a little travel speed. You can't quite travel as fast, especially in heavier grass. But you gain a tremendous amount of maneuverability as far as being able to get around and do different things. And obviously you can do things like raise it up into trees and trim limbs back and get up in tight corners, especially if you're bowling up underneath stuff pretty easy. But I guess it's the old given, old fashioned give and take a little bit. Yeah, Matt's doing a good job. He's just holding it about a foot off the ground, kind of going over top of that rock, knocking down what he can. Like it. Like it a lot. Is working absolutely awesome I don't know if you guys can see but this right here is the edge of the field I kind of took the excavator pushed it back to there Matt kind of come in behind me and chewed up what was left and it uh, it looks good he's trying to get himself worked down the water here I got a feeling he's gonna get brave here in a minute and end up getting stuck but Admit, I think Matt's better on that setup than I am. For the simple fact, he's got more patience. He's he's willing to take the time to kind of let it stay spooled up and go in there easy. He's doing a good job. foundation drain that comes off the house right there we need to keep an eye out for we got a pine line right there but i think we're far enough away from it that's not going to be an issue we're going to take these trees get them tucked down there in that corner i made and then we need to get this little spot over here mowed i think we'll have her whipped let's knock them out let's see if we can go all he made on this one and just shove this thing straight over oh yeah she's gonna go He's gonna go. He's gotta be a little bit careful up there. Guy's got his car parked in the driveway somewhere. That would not be good.
Turn number one on the move. here and get us a little bit more room. two hours later that's quite the uh dramatic difference there yes it is well you used this thing more than me what do you think about it i used it more than you and honestly 100 percent honest that's the first time i've ever ran anything like that that's pretty freaking awesome <laughs> it did work pretty good didn't it yeah the only the only thing you got to watch for is like you said earlier these humps in it as long as you don't hit a hump that sucker will clip it right yeah. over wherever Keep you put it keep the blades out of the ground i was yep. uh i was pretty pleased I, i've been on a few other models there's a couple things i liked about this one right off the bat that openness right there where you can kind of see through that's a big deal i can see this end right here yeah i also like how these sides are slanted they kind of kind of keeps you from digging in and you can kind of see you get a better idea where the edges are at so Agreed. and I everything liked it overall well that nice. and everything's nice and protected and you can give a couple <laughs> bolts out everything's accessible um to me it looks heavy enough to get the job done but i wouldn't call it overbuilt where you're packing a lot of extra weight no that, that skid steer handled it just fine yeah i'm uh i'm pretty pleased with it overall for the first job so if you guys are interested in any of their equipment i will link their website down below they got all kinds of cool attachments for excavators skid steers and tractors and uh clint at cnc equipment is a dealer for these guys so i'll link old clint up there uh, if you guys are interested in anything, he may be able to uh, help arrange getting you some stuff. So well, let's call this one a wrap, man. Move on to the next one. See you, bye. Tell them uh, thanks for watching. Give the video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Definitely helps out the channel. If you want to make sure you don't miss out on what comes up next or what's happening next because you never know what we're into, I consider subscribing. So later, guys.